Is this a good uh, sweep of protection? Okay. These are good, I think. Okay. And should people feel free to suggest? Yeah. That they suggest us? The problem is going to be, what do you cut though, Dana? Yeah. 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 That's probably going to be the issue. That's going to be the tough part. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what the other thing is? I don't know if you think these make sense. We talked about it a little bit. The uh, Turn Timber card? The modal land? Uh, nah. You don't like that? Okay. Just in case you need to play it untapped? Yeah. Lord. Okay. Tyvar. Okay. Crazy Masters, I removed a few mana dorks in the deck that's been working. Okay. Oh, only 87 cards, Dana. It's 85. <clears throat> okay, then. What about, uh, is the uh, the artifact worth it? That gets counted Not in the play this one. No, you don't want that? Okay, that seems fair. Yes, now Okay. The oh, do you want to get um, some of the lands? Uh, yes. As well? You're definitely going to need to change your mana base around. Snow. Okay. Oh, are you going all snow? Yes. Okay. Oh, good. So you have the Boreal Outrider? Yes. Okay. I can I see mean, that. Why not? Okay. Oh, Cephal or Cephi will get you the Coco Code. <laughs> Watching from iPad says, throw in Yorion, really trick them. There you go. Yeah, Ardenny, uh, Ardenny is also suggesting the three cost changeling. But I think you're more, more, want more going wide. Mm -hmm. Watching from iPad, I, I knew what you meant. It's all good. All right. So this way, Dana, you might have like a mono green build you could choose from, or the, the green black. Green black. Okay. All right, cut. Yes. Me luck. Well, I will say, I think some of the last things that you added when we were building this were Ronus. Um, Ronus and Paradise Druid were some of the last ads, so you could cut those. Because those are some of the last things to make it in. Sure. What do you think? I'll cut those. Okay. SGS says, Toski is a squirrel, gives amazing card draw. That's true. He's no elf, though. Yeah, I kind of want to keep this. Though. You want to keep this more elves? Okay. Okay. I'm thinking, Dana, given that this deck is like beating down a lot. Mm -hmm. You might want to be careful on the more expensive stuff. And Rob's would like code. Maybe only one of these heralds herald unites the elves then. Um, yeah, Nameless Elf 2 says, I'm not a huge fan of the saga. Hedria says, Toski's a cool card. Yoda says, Toski, the Wonder Squirrel is the best. Mindstab Thrill says, we'll chat uh, proper with you when I get home in half an hour to an hour. Awesome, Mindstab Thrill. Mm -hmm. Ardenny says, you probably want Overgrown Tomb, Woodland Cemetery, and Blooming Marsh as lands if you have them instead of the tap lands. Yeah, you that's a good point. Oh, yeah, you, you probably have a lot more lands to do. There's Overgrown Tomb. And I agree. It's a good suggestion, Ardenny. And then Woodland Cemetery.
and then Blooming Marsh. Hold on. I want to make sure I don't go over here with that. And then. Is that? You may not not have them. Okay, there you go. Not in there, rare. Oh, I still have thirty one rare. You're fine. <laughs> That's just as Cat Car and Toski make better additions to generic mono green good stuff deck. They've been very fun to play. Yes, the Cat Car. I've also heard of Cat Van, right? I'm, yep. I'm not entirely sure how much snow I'm going to have because I'm not going to have many base decks. Well, it depends how you build it, right? Like, are you building it like mostly green with a splash? Are you building it more black green? Mostly green with a splash. Okay. But you, but you want to make sure you have black on turn two, right? Mm -hmm. For the, if, if you're going to play those. So it's kind of up to you. How many lands? Right. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 23, 24. Oh. Semaf says hello from the Netherlands. How are you doing? Hello, Semaf. Hello. Oh, I've, 54 viewers, Dana. I have 27 friends. Welcome, That's everyone. way too many. Yes, it is. But you need to cut like just a lot of stuff. I think 24 lances. Okay. Good. The other thing that might be tricky on the mana is the castle. Like you just may or may not have enough force to make it. It depends how you mana ends up. So oh, it might yeah. just be something to look at. Maybe I cut two castles uh, back in my snow land. So. Okay. Like that. Okay, that could work. Someone says we're about to close down and go. It's about to go close down and go to sleep, and then suddenly there is some Fisher Magic online. We'll view some more later. Good luck with the stream. Oh, thank Hope you. Hope you have lots of fun. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Oh, Deathrite Sharkman says, "Oh hi, hello." Hi. Okay. What's so? What overall is the plan? Like maybe given this historic data, mm -hmm. it's a high power level. I think, like, you definitely want a more, co you want to make sure you have a good cohesive plan. Because I think you didn't like really like the counters. Is this just to, like, go wide and have lords? Yep. Like, is that really the main? Yep, and then hoof to, like, finish it off. And hoof to maybe is, like, a... One off. Yeah, maybe I don't need this Boreal Outrider. You might not. That's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe you ditch the snow. I mean, this is still a good land. I don't know, actually. Because you have the better options, right? I'm going to do, like, cutting lands because Later. they don't want to, like, throw me off and have to do That's that fair. all again. That's fair. And then I cut too little, little, and then I have to cut even more. That's a good point. So. Taxidos says, greeting from Germany. Great to see you streaming. Well, welcome. Glad yeah. you could join. And Blasphemo says, uh, Deathrite Sharkman. That's a brilliant username. And Zoe is here, says, also greetings from Germany. It's one in the morning and I just started cooking. All right, then. That's cool. Mm hmm Okay. What are you thinking now? So, I'll throw this out there, Dana. I'm not sure Canopy Tactician quite makes... I mean, it's a lord, but the thing is, you have a lot of lords. Imperius Perfect... Clan caller might just be and better. And it's not a Coco target. And it's not a Coco target. Another good point, actually. You want to be mm -hmm. that great point. Great point. Like my only non. -token. Yeah, Yoda Jam is saying if you don't have cards with snow payoffs, you should I'll ditch snow. I have three lands. non land, non Coco right. targets. And you're gonna adjust your lands later, correct? Yes. You said yeah. Maybe I only need one Tyvar. Okay. And just a one of kind of thing you can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you're making progress. Forty-six creatures. <laughs> You'll need to cut a little. You're making some progress. You still have a lot of cuts to make, Dana. I cut maybe these elder thing disciples, or maybe a couple of these. They're just not as good. You'd rather have the visionary. Yeah. I, I can see that. I also would argue that you don't need many of those Skimfar Avengers. Like, 
Let's get them for our Avengers. They're nice three one beaters. They yeah. help sweeper protection, but you might not need that many of them. Okay, making some progress. Um, SGS is only two heralds, maybe. Yeah, I can see going down on heralds. Yeah. This is looking more and more like a, a tiny black splash. Mm-hmm. For Harold and Skemfar. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Oh, Yoda GM's looking at the, uh, Allosaur Shepherd. I can see potentially cutting one of those. And I'm sure everyone here loves your uh, mismatched line of worlds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like having the different ones, though, don't you, Dana? Mm-hmm. Okay. What about going down one of the visionaries, maybe? Mm-hmm. Oh, one thing that's interesting with Allosaurus Shepherd, too. War Master and Allosaurus Shepherd have kind of similar-ish type effects. This one is still better. Um, yes, I understand that. I mean, they have different effects, but I'm like, saying they have a spend a bunch of mana, mana pump your team. But Allosaur one, Shepherd is better. Allosaur Shepherd is... The ability is better. It's um, Then again, this static ability with Elvish War Master is also really good as Yeah, well, exactly. But so is this one. So yeah. I like both of them. Okay. Maybe I can cut a War Master. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> Ranger Alpha says no comment, I think, on the mismatching elves. <laughs> That's just as, yeah, so far it's being pared down to the old deck. Well, the old deck worked, right? It was doing well. Uh, Yoda says, I wasn't necessarily suggesting it, just couldn't see it. Ah, okay, that's fine. But I do think it actually may, might make sense to go down a little bit on it. Um, watching from iPad says, I annoy my friends endlessly by having my land have unique arch. <laughs> Blastino says, you could cut a steel leaf. Mm -hmm. I could see that. I can also maybe see cutting a perfect. It tends to be one of the less impactful lords. Oh, thank you, Shunt1990, for the follow. Mm hmm Okay. How about cut a Coco? <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. There is an argument as to whether the black is worth it here, but... We could try this out to see, right? The black is so worth it. Yeah, Harold. Yes. And Skemfar Avenger. All right. Skemfar Avenger I like because it's sweeper protection. Because a lot of things that throw the outfit yeah. off That's is true. the sweepers. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, all right, says maybe we don't need 24 lands. Oh, yeah. How many lands do you have? 24. I think this deck before, by the way, Dana, I think, I can double check, I think it has, had 22. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken... So I've um, got two lands. I think it had 22. Now, it also had two Paradise Druids to help with the mana, but, you know, maybe that's not as needed, and maybe you are just kind of okay with that. I can double-check. Yeah, so now that. one more card to cut. Ooh, hmm. Oh, yeah, we like the... Uh, Nameless Elf likes the Avenger. SGS is Harold Axis Coco. That could be. Well, no, Coco's still better. Well, Harold's a creature, Coco's yeah. not, but Coco puts two elves. That's true. Put two, puts two creatures on the battlefield. Harold puts one into hand. Yes. And Yoda JM, um, yeah, the lands, these are not the final lands at all. No. Once we kind of get the cards, we're going to revamp the lands. Yeah, you were at 22 lands. Um, before, by the way. So, you know, I think that's probably okay. You did have two Paradise Druids, which kind of helps with some of the mana, but, you know, maybe they don't fully replace the land. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely going to revamp the lands. Is 22, you think, the right number of lands? Yes. Or do you think you can go... I think 22 is the right okay. number of lands. Coach Gonzalez is just stopping by to say God bless you two and your family. Oh, oh thank, thank you, Coach you. Gonzalez. Glad you could join. Yeah. Ooh, always the last cut. It always is, isn't it, Dana? Maybe I cut one of these visionaries. Okay, I can see that. There we go. Now we can revamp the lands. Okay. I don't think I need these. No. Oh, 
Well, you probably don't want the snow lands either. What? But they're pretty. But you don't have anything that requires snow. Yeah, but they're pretty. But you know what? I think there are lots of pretty forests you can do. Oh, Flying MTG mentions the pathway. Yeah, you definitely want the pathway. Oh, yes. Right? There we go. Do I run no basics? I don't think you I don't think you run basic swamps. I also would argue you don't want anything that comes in. Can I see Skimfar Elder Hall? I'm not sure you want that. Yeah. Yeah, Pika Miner's mentioning also the Redane exists, so be careful with the snow basics. Yoda says, I added snow forest for variety, then of course ran into Raydane who tapped them down. Yeah. Why don't you see what forest you have, Dana? Maybe there's, just go with the pretty forests that aren't snow. Don't you have like the Nyx ones? Like you really like those Nyx ones, don't you? Uh, we have to cut Flying MTG says you want 14 untapped green sources for turn one land or else. I don't think you want the temples. Yeah. Like I think you're more about like wanting just untapped stuff. There we go. Um, and I'm wondering too. Let me look at black to see black and green do a land as well. Just These might be all the ones that you want. Yeah, those are yeah I think these are all the ones. So now here's an interesting question on the mana base. Yes. Um, Ranger Alpha says probably just shocks, checks, and maybe fast lands. So maybe not the pathway then, or at least not as many of the pathways. Why not the pathways? Well, okay, so here's one thing that's an interesting um, uh, question on that, is that Castle really wants you to have forest, right? So it comes into play untapped. Now the overgrown tombs are forest. Are the Woodland Cemetery, let's see, are any of the others actual forests? I always forget which ones are like actual forests versus not. Okay. I only have nine forests. Maybe I don't need, maybe I. Or, mm -hmm. um, you could decide to go higher on forests, which could actually allow you, I mean, Castle has been pretty key for the deck. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe you go higher on force. Now, how many black sources does this give you? Seven. Um, 11, 13. Okay, 13. So let's see here. I'm gonna do, remember I told you about the hypergeometric? Calculator, Dana? Mm hmm So if we have 60 cards, okay, mm -hmm. and let's see, we have 13, and we want it on turn two pretty reliably, right? Which, let's just say that's nine. Let's say you're on the draw, maybe. Um, and you want to have one, okay? That gives you, if you have 13 black sources, so that gives you 91% chance. It seems pretty good. Oh, and we have some suggestions here. Uh, watching from our bit says Woodland is probably slower than the deck wants. Yeah, Flying MTG says 11 black sources. Ardenny says 13 black sounds good. And then we're having a suggestion on the mana base. Let's see here. So Nameless Elf says 4 shock, 3 check, 4 fast, 3 pathway, 2 castle, 6 forest. Hello. A suggestion. Hello. Hello, Sadie. Hi, what's up? Uh, we tweaking, are tweaking making a this green black version. Adding uh, four black. Cards. Are you adding Elspeth? Sadie, when was the last time Elspeth was green black? She's black. No, so, she's white. No, but wasn't she black and beyond death or something? No, so she's, I hearing something no she's, black. she's white. So, uh, Flying oh, MGG linked one of my favorite articles from the legendary Frank Kirsten. 
about, about mana bases. Oh, Frank yeah. Karsten yeah. is no. an excellent pro magic player. No. And magic. A, okay, and, that's hold on, hold on. And a genius mathematician as well. Oh, okay. So hate. he's all about running like Please math. Please tell me those spreadsheets. Pretty much all spreadsheets, actually. Okay, now I see why you like this person. So if you look at this, right? Oh, a spreadsheet. So you want <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, oh, by the way, we, we just had from um, a pay CD a tier three subscription, resubscription for two months. Oh. And we told them that we're working maybe on the CD a month. Yes, I've been wanting one two. and I've been kind of annoyed with them. I see. I've been bugging them. <laughs> well, you have been participating and doing yeah. jazz and wanting you know, play some standard, okay? Mm hmm. Um, Okay, so if we look at this. Okay, I'm gonna go now that two red sheets have been oh, added. Sadie. Bye, I have to get the tennis. Okay, All okay. Right, bye. But you know what? You don't need. Bye, Sadie. You're right. You don't really need the Stemfire Adventure on turn two. Right? Like, that's okay to have later on. Um, and so it really re it recommends 13 sources for that. But for. Um, and I have that too. Herald, it's really 11. Okay. So I think you're in the 11 to 13 range. Oh, Texodus would like a code. I have 4, 8, 12. I have 12. Okay. So you're basically going to go boom with those uh, Yep. Those three? And thank you, Lord of Fire, for the thank follow. Thank you. All right. I like okay, this. Okay, 12 sounds enemies. like a good plan. I like this. All right. So, Oh, question. thank you, Texodus, for the follow. And there is your code. So now here's a question, though. Yes. You have what? Twelve forests. Um. Yes. So what do you think then? If you have twelve forests. Sample size. That three. means you're probably in an opening hand going to have eighty-one percent chance of having an actual forest on turn one. Do you want to go up to three castles? Although that would then take away a forest, so now you're at 11 forests. Exactly. If that's the case. So if you had 11 forests and you're on the play, you have a 78% chance to have a forest on turn one, which means that if you don't, now again, you might have a blooming marsh, which is okay, but then the castle would come into play tapped. Nah, I like you like the two? Okay, I can see that. Uh, Wonder Boy says, came here from else and for some uh, cheering up. Well, glad you could join. Yeah. All right. Is this the... Oh, what are you going to name the deck, though? Historic Cocoa Elves 2. Or no, that's... Better. That seems pretty lengthy and boring. Mm -hmm. Especially for you, Dana. Maybe Chad has some ideas, right? All the elves are black? Elves with, um, yeah, El all the elves, including black. Oh, okay, I like Redemption Game says Elven Domination. Long John says Dark Coco. Ooh. Ah. No, Dark, ooh, Dark. Elves now with black, Crazy Nexus. Cocoa. Oh, nameless elf two seconds to name dark cocoa, dark chocolate cocoa. Okay, dark that works too. Chocolate cocoa. All right. So Wonder Boy says just upset that I missed the opportunity to apply for that job at Riot. There's a lot of the jobs that will come up and stuff again though. So yeah. and feel free to hit me up by the way if there's any questions you have on that uh, Wonder Boy. If I can answer them, I'd be glad to. A lot of times I won't know the answer though. Three and a half minutes until I, or two and a half minutes until I get them. I see, okay. Yummies, and they're my favorite ones. Ah. Not just any gummies, uh, but the watermelon gummies. The watermelon gummies. SKS says, yesterday. we're currently getting a foot of snow dropped on us. A foot? A foot. That's a lot. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh they're mo- uh. Okay, this could be the combo, though. Yeah. Um. Um. They it's can't. a kibble deck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> I had such a good hand that I says, wanted to play. Yeah, yep, that's a tibble combo. 
That is tricky. And it's whenever I cast Coco, Herald, or Tybar, right? I get a gummy once the hour starts. That's fair. I'm good with that. Since I only have... I'll even give, give you the uh, the Skemfar as well. So Coco or any of the new call time cards. Oh, any of the new call time cards. Oh, wait, that would be Warmaster. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> how about um, any? Of, how about Coco and any of the black-related call time cards? Okay. I'm okay with that approach. That's not too bad. Although I don't know why I was more generous. See what a nice father I am? Although you did do your math practice very well earlier today. I did. Yes, this is true. This is true. And on top of a math assessment with algebra and slope, which I had no clue how to solve, and that's middle school stuff. I know. It was eighth grade questions. But that's because you had advanced past the fifth grade ones, right? Well, I was oh. doing sixth grade stuff when I read it anyway. Uh-huh. Ratios. Okay. Crazy Baxter says there's a book called The Iron Druid Chronicles, and for a second Dana sounded like the dog from the Audible version. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Boy says maybe it's time to play ranked so I can get some free wins against that Tybalt combo deck. Long Jen says darn, Dana almost had unlimited Excuse gummies. Excuse me! <laughs> What's going on there? I don't know if the gummies were unlimited, Long John. No. It's just a little bit more. Oh, come on! You have got to be... Oh, yeah, I've had this happen to me. <laughs> yeah, that's a server error. Um, it's happened to me. It happened says, to me on Saturday. You might have to force quit this. It happened to me on unless Saturday. Unless you can... It's just not responding. Yeah, let's force quit it, Dana. It happened on Saturday as well. I know. It happens sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. At least at the start of the game, I'll be able to have some gummies. That's the plus. What is this? It's now past an hour. Oh, because of the time. <laughs> uh, I need, I need I to see. fix your hole in the head. Ah, I see. Oh, E.W. Adams says Alt plus F4 also will force it closed. I did not know that keyboard I shortcut. I got to learn something new, right? Yeah. Thank you. Redemption yeah. Game says, ha ha. Yeah. They're laughing. What we like to do here, right, Dana? Have fun? Yep. Flying MTG says Wonder Boy has a 46% fizzle rate and doesn't 100% win when it combos off. You know, that really doesn't seem like a great odds thing. No. This is an amazing hand. Okay, that can work, right? Mm hmm. Ooh, except I did just realize that pathway combined with the steel leaf is kind of awkward. Oh, yeah. Because you either want black or... The yeah, you don't get both, unfortunately. That's fine. Yeah. I'm going to do it on the green side. Because I have the black, and I only need one black source. Okay. And you're okay usually taking the damage, because you're like a fast deck? I'm fine taking the damage if I don't get a land on my next turn. Okay. Oh. Or that, and then I don't have to take a damage, and that's a, well, turn two. That works. Wonder Boy says, good, really good in modern, though. Oh, yeah, more mm -hmm. options there. Crazy Masters Control Alt L4 just shuts down the computer. So when we were in person, it was a war of the Chromebooks. Ooh. Yes. Alt F4. That works. SDS says, I'm thinking of building a mono blue all counters deck just for the knuckleheads playing Tybalt nonsense. <laughs> Wonder Boy says the modern version of Tybalt combo is almost ban worthy. It's just no win cons, just counters. <laughs> okay, um, these boards look similar, Dana. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. That was a short one. So okay, skip it. That's the deal, right? Math at Midnight says, hello, Fishers. Hope all is well. Hello. Hello. Well, that was fast. That was fast. Redemption Game says, yo, elves are so busted. Watching for my bets and style on them with a pact of negation turn one. 
ante those uh, Tybalt decks, right? Mm -hmm. Blaston has put a copy of Historic Intervention in their Elves deck and works well against most Tybalt threats. Okay. This seems like a very slow hand. This is very slow. This is really slow. And a mole. You know, Dana, now the thing is when you're playing Constructed Elves on Arena, mm -hmm. you actually have three choices all of a sudden, right? I know! There's Mono Green, <laughs> there's Golgari, but Mono Green Historic, Golgari Historic, and Golgari Standard. Yep. It's pretty cool. And CZ42 says Elves are Elving. Oh, yeah. And lots of good choices. Can't really do Mono Green and Standard, though. Aren't enough of them. Well, there you go. You're now missing you have your out blast. on Harold. You Harold's one of the best exactly. ones. Exactly. Do the call time black lands count as a gummy? No. Okay. Nice try. <laughs> that was a nice try. Flying MTG says, uh, Fisher Magic, did you guys see Sam Black's Party Elves deck for standard? No. No. I did not actually. I saw rebuilt one, but I didn't see the party elves. Oh, if you have a uh, any a link to that, I'd love to. It should uh, be elves party. Like the yeah. Party game. Redemption Games says, "What's your favorite mythology?" Do you know what Redemption Games is referring to there? Yes, like Greek mythology. Yes, I think so. Norse, yeah. mythology. Norse Roman. I don't know. I haven't learned enough of that. Yeah, I think that comes in seventh grade, actually. To be fair. Okay, so they have Elf Party. Ooh, ooh, we will have to uh, look into this. Thank you for the link. Mm -hmm. That is pretty cool. Flying MG says this list is a bit old. Celtic myth is easily my favorite. So that list is old flying MDG, so has he updated it since then? It looks like it's just a couple days ago, but. And then Crazy Master says Celtic uh, mythology is easily my favorite. And Wonder Boy says you learned Roman Greek in sixth grade, if I remember correctly. It actually was seventh grade that, uh, at least around here. Mm -hmm. That's when uh, my older daughter Sadie learned it. Well, that's sad. That is very sad. Watching from iPad says, are any of the new elves of any value in modern elves, or are they too chock for, full of stuff already? I don't know. Modern elves would be tough to find a slot for, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that might be tough. Flying MG says, oh, he's updated his Discord. Okay. You may have to look at that. Redemption Games says, what's your favorite three-color combination in this game? Mine is between Grixis and Esper. I know those aren't yours, Dana. Naya or Abzan? Naya or Abzan. Okay. I can see that. Ian W. Adams says, Elvish War Master is a solid upgrade in Historic, but I don't think that it bumps anything out in Modern. Yeah, that would be tough in Modern. Because I think Dwynan's Elite is I'm better dead. there. Oh, that was sad. Flying MTG said that uh, Sam hasn't posted the updated list, but played it on stream and copied it off him. Okay. That is a good tip, Dana. You could try all kinds of elves. Yours, we could look at Reed's. You could look at Sam's, right? Mm -hmm. This could be all kinds of good stuff. Oh, Redemption okay. Games likes your choices. Okay. Oh, now we're doing the exercises, huh? I have three gummies. Okay, good. Look at you remembering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll make up the five later. All right, okay. You're, you're easing into it? Mm 
Wonder Boy says, I don't remember what seventh grade history was. I remember eighth with California history mixed with some U.S. history. That's what my sister doing. Mostly U.S., mm -hmm. right? I think mostly U.S. right now. The other GM says, well, that deck wasn't annoying at all. And Blobfish got you the code. Let me know if it, let us know if it works for you. Hopefully it does. Um, again, it was supposed to expire like a month ago, but they haven't. <laughs> so we're just running with it. It was exactly a month ago now. Yeah. Midnight says, I try not to recall my middle school days. Oh, Redemption Games asked what you're doing, Dana. Do you want to explain? Uh, so since I'm eating a lot of gummies, to burn off the sugar that I'm getting, I do like 15 push-ups, but on the first one, I do 10 to warm my arms up and then make up for the five. And it was a suggestion from SJS on stream, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a good one at that. Blastinos likes how Historic is shaping up. Fought against an embalmed Life King deck today. It looked like fun. Crazy Max just says, I've had fun in middle school besides COVID. That's just has got to do push-ups. Dana is such a champ. Wonder Boy says, ninth grade didn't have a history class. 10th was the World Wars. 11th was modern history or AP Euro European history. And 12th was Econ Gov or AP Econ Gov. Oh, and Gov. thank you, Eldritch Prowler, for the foul. Thank you. All right, Wonder Boy, there you go. I don't even remember which was which. And they might have changed it. It might be different here. I think they're a mono green. SGS is proud. Oh. Oh. They're this. They're a death touch deck. Uh-huh. Oh. Or they, okay, they can see it and I don't care. Oh, that's right. I'd forgotten about that. In Cardboard Live, you can do exclamation point deck. Oh, yeah. And Ocarus Rex. Okay, there you go. I think this would be the last game with this. And then pull it up to another poll. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. You haven't done that many. So I have an idea, Dana. What about doing a couple of games and then maybe we do the giveaway? Ooh. Because we'll be right at five. What do you think? Okay. Does that work? And then we'll do a poll. I really like this hand. Oh, this hand seems extremely good. Wonder Boy says, I mean, high school was only six years ago for me. Yeah, well, it's more like 31 for me, so that's why I don't remember as much. <laughs> high school is negative uh, four years. Four. That was sad. Four years for me. High school is negative four years for This me. is true. Redemption Games says Gobbos versus Elves. Let's go. So, PJ, for the the Coco Code is whoever wants one. Yeah. The 1K Gem Codes, we just have a few. So that one is going to be a lottery, but we're going to have more that we're going to give away kind of in future streams. We have to, like, kind of figure out. How to do it. Yeah, I, which I think we know. But Crazy Max versus High School is negative one year for me. But hopefully it'll work okay. SK says Mana Curse posted an interesting EDH deck on Finn Death Touchers. And Akaris Rex says Cardboard Live is giving a standard list. What? Let's go to Cardboard Live and maybe refresh it. I am sorry. This is working? Yeah, let's let's restart it. That'll usually do the trick. Let's see. Okay, I think it works now. Yes, it looks like it is working now. There we are. Sorry about that. Now that we've refreshed it. Oh, you recovered from the chain whirler nicely, didn't you? I sure did. Now you have big things. You need to kill them before that Cranko gets out of hand. I think I can do that. Okay.
There you go. Oh, Blobfish has a Coco code work. Nice. Good to hear. Underbrook said opponent is looking for Muxus. Yes. I wonder if they take it. Just like assuming that they're not dead. That would be <laughs> 17 dead. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that's the right play if I'm them. Yeah. Right? Because they're like, they gotta kill you with Muxus or something. That's just his telegram for Muxus. Please report to the battlefield. PJ says, so the guy who created cardboard is the guy who interviewed you about your life recently. Yes, yes he's a great guy. We might want to ask about, ask James about that if there's anything we can do. Mm -hmm. um, Sure. <laughs> You're like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now that's going to be annoying. Uh, they can't block Steel Leaf Champion. Not with those. That's true. Other things can, but but you have two Steel Leafs. Well, the Chain Warriors are the only things that can block yeah. the Steel Leafs, and they have to block both of them. That's true. So. They might actually be dead next turn. Yeah, they might. Redemption Games says, what accent is she speaking? I like it. I'm not speaking in an accent. People tell me that I have like a little bit of a but Scottish But were you accent. before? I think you were saying something before. No? No. Okay. I have gotten told that people can hear a little bit of a Scottish accent in me. Really? Yeah. Okay. I don't think you need to worry about the sweep very much. I think that's for sure what you want. And maybe the sweep. Yeah. Yeah, NW Adams says Allosaurus is a win right there. Yep. Oh, Wonder Boy says you does sound like you have an accent. Maybe it's a ten year old accent. <laughs> 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 There's definitely a different quality in terms of the tone and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely a lot more high pitched. All right. I actually don't think they're dead. Sadly, you don't have trample. They are not. That's just as this person built their goblin deck wrong. I see Matron turn two, Muxus turn three all the time. I mean, it could be they're getting incredibly unlucky. Yeah. CZ42 says, I mean, everyone has an accent whether you uh, realize it or not. That is true, right? Yeah. That's a good point. Everything's relative. Because we sound like we have an accent to people in other countries and even other states. But Dana's accent isn't any different from California accent. <laughs> Actually, I've gotten told that they can hear a little bit of Scottish accent in me. Ooh, so. Maybe. Maybe it's a little bit different. Oh, Flying Angie found the current list. Nice, thank you. We will definitely make a note of that. Well, I just pretty much wiped their board. Okay. So they can make more goblins. They can, and they're hasty. Yeah, I still but care. that's not enough, is it? Uh-uh. Oh, Kyoji just finished making the turn two Ugin deck. All right, one more, mm -hmm. and then giveaway time. Mm-hmm. Hello, peaceful. Okay, one more game, and then it's giveaway time, and hopefully this giveaway thing works. Mm-hmm. This Jess was born in Massachusetts, spent two years as a little kid in L.A., then grew up in Vermont. I have a very boring accent. <laughs> <laughs> I was born and am growing up in San Diego. Yep. I've been here my whole life. I've been in this house my whole life, actually. This is true. Sadie hasn't. Not no. quite. Another goblin stack. I know. Okay, that'll give you some nice little, nice little goblins. 
Sure will. Watching from iPad says nobody lets me forget that I don't pronounce ends in the middle of words. Okay. As long as you understood, it's all good. Kyoji says I've lived in NorCal my, my whole life. I actually grew up in NorCal. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, like, oh my god, with the LA accent. Wonder Boy says I've lived in California all 23, about to be 24 years of my life in a month. And people still say I have an East Coast mixed with Southerner accent. You know, I, Hey, things can kind of, maybe it's who you were around or just how naturally your voice is. That's when I get to cast a cone cone. I get to cast a cone cone. Ian W. Adams says, according to the internet, my accent comes from either Reno or Santa Rosa. Oh, so there's like an internet thing that can listen and tell you your accent? Or are you saying from other people online, Ian? Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if my parents are from the East Coast. Ah, okay. My mom's mom is from um, Scotland, um, and my mom's dad is originally from Russia, but moved a lot. You're plenty of black. Uh -huh. It's a plus what various idioms you use. Oh, okay. And then my dad's, uh, I don't know, what, I think then a boot them top of my book grill, uh, which are from Northern California. Nope. Not where they grew up. Oh. Nana Boots from New Jersey. Mm. Papa Michael grew up in California, though. <laughs> I'm one elf off from having double cocoa. Yeah, except Dana. Yes. You're about to get Muxist. Oh, yeah. But that doesn't mean the game's over, because you've got a lot of stuff. I do have a lot of stuff. So, Pastor? Uh, potentially. It's up to you. What do you think? Yeah, pass turn. Pass turn? You could att attack with a, uh, a token or you can pass. Depending on what you think. Pass turn. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Watching from iPad says, I took one test and asked me how you say and pronounced a bunch of words to determine. Could be that one. Okay. SJ says, pop versus soda versus Coke versus tonic versus soft drink. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. like in terms of which words you use for things. That's definitely something that varies by state and country. Peaceful says, I'm going to look up an accent test now. That sounds fun. Should we do that too, David? Look up? Okay. Oh, that was a great Moxus, and I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy. They just got, like, four elves. From, or four goblins. <laughs> I don't think they got elves. <laughs> Sadly. And they got a, they even got a Franco. Why isn't there muxes for elves? No kidding, right? I know. I mean, there is a hoof, but. That's true. They have a bunch of hasty gobbles. Wait, why is my timer running when I wasn't, when I couldn't even do anything? I don't know. Nameless Elf 2 says bubbler or water fountain? I would say water fountain. Water fountain. SGS says my niece is in college and was researching how you say the word that refers to your mother or father's sister. Oh, okay. How would you say it? For Jill, as an example. My auntie. Or, uh, auntie. Well, auntie's like the, the kid version of it, I guess. So, yes. Aunt or auntie. Yes. I think that so, some of that might be an age thing, because I remember saying more like auntie when I was younger, and then aunt when I was older. But I guess it's true. There's like aunt and all that kind of stuff. Fizzy Master says, you can cocoa. You can cocoa. I can't. 
at the same time, they have 28 You're goblins. Fine. You're fine. You're way fine, Dana. You got this one. What do you think? And it's a tiny Muxus, though. It's a 41! It's a tiny Muxus. It doesn't have trample. No, it's a <laughs> tiny Muxus. It doesn't have trample. Green Ginger says, last time I checked, my relatives aren't bugs. <laughs> I, don't, I, I just say, I, I don't know why ant sounds uh, more natural to me. And it's anti for you, right, Dana? Mm -hmm. yeah. Anti, Jill. Now, Warmaster triggers only once each turn, but that's not kind of what's cool with Coco, because it can trigger on your turn and their turn. Oh, yeah. All right, now past blockers. You've got this. First, I'm going to jump there. Next. So, Dana, you don't even have a thousand damage coming at you, so you're easily got this. <laughs> uh, you do know you're very dead. I am aware. Okay. Are you blocking just to, like, block? Yes. Okay. Yeah, PJ says quick maths. 28 times 3. What's 28 times 3, Dana? 28 times 3 is, um, 84. Good job, Dana. And then 26 times 3. Is 78, which is what you just got hit for. <laughs> 